What's happening guys? This is Theon Lone Wolf Tech coming back to you with some more Let's Play Volts. And today, um, what we should be making is a hazmat suit and hopefully a system to store all of our creosol oil uh, from our cold coat furnace. So, um, the reason for that, uh, the creosol oil, is because when I figured out when the built-in tank in the cold coke, o cold coke o oven, and it's hard to say, cold coke oven fills up uh, it will not produce uh, cold coke so you gotta bucket that out and buckets are kinda expensive especially when you don't have much iron so we are going to use a system of tanks which are in the volts pack uh, so we can kinda show that off and not have to worry about um, running full so actually what we're gonna start on today uh, first would be the hazmat suit so that is really just uh, steel plates, basic circuits, and leather armor. So we'll go ahead and make our leather armor, which we should have some leather already in our inventory. So that shouldn't be much of a problem. And this is one thing you do have to have leather for. That just make a leather belt. What was that? Huh. I guess it didn't. I, I thought it showed something really weird. For a second. Alright, so we got our leather armor. And we should have quite a few steel plates already made. And we got our cable. Now we should get some bronze plates, which we should have some bronze still in here. Is that bronze too? Yeah, that's bronze too. Uh, we'll just make this quickly into plates. And we are going to need five, four. We're going to need four, but oh well. We have six. Do we need redstone for these? Oh, um, control circuit. No, we wanted basic circuit, which is easier. So we need redstone. Apparently, there's two different circuits that will work for this. That's kind of neat. I uh, kind of rearranged some of the chest a little bit because they were getting pretty cluttered. Um, not much there to worry about, really. Uh, we've been running the uh, tunnel bores quite a lot so we've been getting some resources from that so that is good um, we'll just start with some stuff just kind of even it out we got our head we need some pants torso and boots still got some stuff left over that's good alright so let's go ahead and put this on now what this should do is make the effects of radiation um, non-existent. So I look pretty weird. I, they kind of got a mouth. You look like Bane from Batman at, really in this. Um, we need some food. So let's see. I guess we can go pick up some uranium. Let's go to sleep real quick first. Um, so basically the hazmat suit will let you deal with reactors because when you get into reactors um, they will emit radiation which will poison you and is very deadly um, this does not have a armor bar so I wouldn't use this all the time I'd, it's kind of something you want to replace but we can look at our centrifuge we got 15 uranium we can go ahead and pick that up jump around with it put it on our hot, hot bar you know have some fun with it it's not affecting us we're not getting radiation poisoning you can see uh, it's already depleting quite quickly so we're gonna go put that up um, so this armor does uh, deplete when you are holding uranium um, due to the amount of radiation that's a level 4 radiation I'm, it might even be more since I was holding like a whole stack of it um, but yeah that's that's a whole lot of radiation don't even want to touch that chest really but um, that's a hazmat suit we'll go ahead and put our armor back on and we'll just throw the hazmat suit in there for safekeeping we need to get some of these uh, other materials out of here so that's that now uh, what we need to do why am I putting it in this chest come on what am I doing gosh alright back to what we were doing what we were doing was looking at this cold coke furnace so you can see what I'm talking about so we need to get some more cold coke which we're waiting on now this crease oil has filled up and the only way to get it out right now is buckets but what we're going to do is make some more railcraft uh, situations where it's just going to pump it out into tanks. So, 
Uh, first off, I think we'll start off with tanks. So there are quite a few different uh, tanks out there. There's detector tank, which is not really tank. Water tank siding, iron tank well, uh, iron tank gauge valve. Uh, I think these blocks can actually be used to actually make a, a tank, but I don't really know much about that. But what we're going to get into is just the generic tank. So um, this one will pretty much you know hold whatever you want, and it's just made with stone and an unfinished tank, which is just iron. So they're really cheap to make. So we'll just grab some uh, cobblestone, grab some iron somewhere, get this smelting real quick. Um, just throw it in here, we get some more steel. Take some of this stuff out. So we'll get that smelting. Uh, put this in the proper chest. See, I had to make another chest because we're our ingots, we're getting too many of them. Alright, so we need the tanks, which we're working on right now. And then we need a, um, I think the tank cart uh, just takes a uh, takes a tank gauge, which is made from glass planes and iron plate, which we do not know how to make an iron plate. So we're going to go to our friend, Mr. Internet Explorer, and search how to make an iron plate. Plates, plates, plates. No, we don't want railcraft. We want faults. See if they've made a wiki for it. Um, no. Let's call it iron plate. Let's go search for rail. Okay, plate. So rolling machine. Um, just looks like iron. Yep. So we're gonna have to bring back our rolling machine, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, if I can remember, we kept it in here. Where are you? There you are. So we'll bring this guy back out. Um, placement is going to be kind of an issue. We have some wire on us. Yes, we do. Uh, I think we will just run this cable up and around and place this guy here and then place our rolling machine. I wonder if we can move this guy around. Let's move him facing this way. Place this guy here. Is that guy automatically charged? Wow. Alright, so we need some iron. That's what we need. We got some iron smelting or something. We need some stone. Don't have any iron smelting, but we have a ton down here. So we're going to need uh, four plates. Was it four plates? Yep. And it is made just like this. That makes three. We need four. So that's going to actually make quite quickly. Give us one more. Please and thank you. This is, I kind of like this rolling machine, except for the way it has to be powered. Alright, we got six plates. So we got a cart. Now we're going to need a. Uh, loader and unloader so there should be a liquid loader which takes a detector tank which is brick and a pressure plate so we should have some brick left over yep and pressure plate we can make uh, through our stone now let's see if the unloader needs the same thing yes so we're gonna have to make two which is kind of uh, that's kind of how the loaders and unloaders work. They're just backward recipes. And I miss shift clicking. That's that's one thing I do miss. All right, so we got that. We're gonna need a dispenser, which is a bow. Um, do we have string? I know I just threw away a ton of string. I think we can get string from wool. What is that? Pumpkin seed? No. Oh. Let's hope we can get string from wool. Maybe. See if there's a recipe for it. String wire mill. That's actually kind of efficient. But we don't have a wire mill. String. Uh, that's just all garbage. So we need some more string for bows, apparently. 
Um, there's no flax seeds, so we can't get string that way. It just looks like mob drops, and I've like thrown away all my string too. It's kind of a bummer. Because I did have a lot at one time. Somewhere. Okay, well, forget about the string for now. Um, let's see, where can I get some string? I'll tell you what, I'll get back to you in a second with some string. Alright guys, I spent the night finding some spiders and I got us uh, quite a lot of string. So we should be able to make some bows. That's one thing uh, I wasn't really expecting is having a, a shortage on string. Which is kind of a bummer. Um, that should be more than enough for a bow. We need two of. Let's see, uh, we need the uh, liquid. Liquid un... Oh, why is that on cheat mode? Every time we log back in, it seems like it changes for some reason. Um, let's see, we need redstone and cobblestone, which we have quite a lot of cobblestone in here. And uh, redstone in here. Now, one thing I do wish to make here very soon is a uh, enchantment table for all this mining uh, all this XP for mining we're getting we are going to need to enchant so uh, that's one thing that is hopefully coming up here soon I probably won't make a video on it I'll just make it because enchanting is a vanilla thing and most people should know uh, how things do alright so we got our we just need glass which is some simple sand I'm not sure if we actually have any Oh, we got sand. We got plenty of sand. We'll just go throw this up. Uh, for some smelting. Alright, so we got some smelting going. We got our stone. Well, let's head back to the generic tank. So we got plenty of stone. Um, I'm not sure how many we need, to be honest. So we'll just make uh, five. Seems reasonable. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough stone to make five, but we will. Yeah, we should. That how it, that's cobblestone. I need stone stone. Which we're not going to have enough stone stone to make five. Yep, just short a little. We got four. That works. So let's go look at these generic tanks and see what happens. These are, yep, generic tanks. Looks like it's getting dark again. Let's see, um, let's see where we want to place some wool. Shave this area of land back a little bit. I think what we'll do: shave it back a little so we can uh, set up a little bit of rail craft, and we'll put it, I guess, just back here. Seems reasonable. So we will. Are they stack? Well, it looks like they stack. So let's break them and line it up a little bit better. Um, that looks like the middle, so we'll just put it right here. It doesn't have to be a. Uh, um, I meant to right click on it. So we can't right click on it, but I'm, I'm kind of wondering how you can tell when it's full or how it even works. But, uh,. Those look like complicated questions, which we don't have the answers to, so we're just going to do it anyway. Get that up there. Run back inside before any mobs start spawning. Is that even lined up? Yeah, that's lined up. Got to double check. Got to double check everything before the mobs start coming and killing us. Let's go run to sleep. Now we just need to make a tank, which we should have... Oh, we're making the... Uh, we needed the glass planes for, so we gotta go get some more glass. Should have some more glass and stone. We have our plates still, yep. This should be pretty simple. So we need to make planes. Uh, apparently you can make glass pressure plates too. That's neat. That's 16 planes, should be enough. I think they go in here. So like that. Um, let's go look it back up. Okay. Um, need a glass plane in the middle. 
so that actually makes four which is more than we need and we need to make a cart and stick that baby inside there's our cart now we also need some boarding tracks and we need our uh, loaders and offloaders so this should make let's see where's our dispenser that's a liquid unloader and it looks like we're gonna need some more glass not a big problem we got plenty um, wrong thing and that should be enough and we should get this is sounding really boring because it's actually kinda late trying to keep uh, excited a little bit let's try not to make the same thing that's a loader we've already made an unloader so that should be all the materials for that so let's go see what we can set up here so um, we want to do it how we set it up this time so we still want to unload we want to put the unloader on top a liquid loader what I should say right here then we want a boarding track then we want some regular track which we didn't bring any of uh, we'll get it in a second we also want a boarding track here actually we need to put our unloader here boarding track here this is going to be really short and then we need uh, some carts I'm not sure if it's all those tanks connect or not, but we'll find out here in a second. Get some more tracks, which we have plenty, plenty, plenty of. I kind of miss uh, sorting systems from Tekkit. You know, you can always have just a drop box and drop everything in it, but I think we can actually make them somehow. All right, that should work. And tank cart. I actually do not know if this is going to work, so first time's charm. Um, ah, something's filling up. Ah, so it the liquid loader has a little bit of a tank inside it itself, and that fills up, and it's filling up the cart, and hopefully when it gets full, it's going to send a signal. Um, that's emptying, emptying. Come on, send that signal. You're almost there. You can do it. I believe in you. It should be full. Why aren't you going? Um, just top off. Hold empty. Top off. Something. Oh, this is the wrong way. Okay, we're going to have to try to push this guy out. Because he has all of our stuff. Can we uh, get under him and change his track? Okay, we'll just do that. That's not going to work either. Um, we kind of screwed up the pooch this one. I forgot. Always make sure you have um, we're going to have to get buckets on this guy. Alright. Um, this is kind of a mess up. What I had forgotten was that you have to change uh, the direction the boarding tracks uh, face. So what we're going to have to do is try not to cause a big oil spill like uh, has done in America's history. We don't want to repeat all the bad things about America, so we're going to use our buckets and just do this because they nicely implemented this for some reason. And we're going to have to ditch some dirt. And that's string. We actually need that for some reason. Get rid of some sticks. Um glass who cares about glass um, cobblestone stone um, that should be good enough really we'll just throw the wire out for now um, we don't really need that much crease oil alright so let's do this again let's get some dirt which we just threw away great 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 And we'll toss out some... God, it's like 
decimation. Unfinished tank, maybe? It's such a hard decision. Well, we can just throw some redstone on the ground for now. I should just really just make these decisions. Move on. Alright, so let's grab the tank card again. We need some rails. And if we look at this guy, his the arrow is actually facing that way, which we don't want. So we need our crowbar. And we need to turn him around so the arrow is facing this way. We want this arrow facing this way, which is kind of hard to tell on this texture pack. But it's the best we got, man. Alright, so we're going to send him under. He should top off. And we should pick up this redstone. Let's try this again for the last time. Hold empty. We just we'll just leave it default. Sure. Sounds great. Let's see what's gonna happen. I wanna know what happens. Come on. What is taking so long? Hurry up. You can do it. I believe in you. There he goes. So he's unloading. And it's filling up this tank. You can kind of see the little blue graphic on the side. He's filling up the other tanks, so this actually works. Now, the problem is getting it out. I'm quite sure we could use an uh, another unloader to get it out, but what we want to test are buckets, um, because that is one of the main things we're going to be using. So we'll go throw away these buckets and get some fresh ones. And probably some of these other materials. So we'll put some tanks in there. We'll put the buckets in there. Put some of these plates in there. Put some of these tracks in there. And we'll put this tank in there. Um, we'll put this clay in here. We'll put the redstone in here. Put the wall in here. So many different places. We'll grab a bucket. We'll take the bucket. We'll run it over here. And wow, these tanks are all filled up already. We'll right click and we get uh, Creaso Oil. So just as I expected. And this guy has a, a buffer as well. This guy's pretty much empty. So um, yeah, that's how it works. Now, there are actually a lot of tanks working here without you actually seeing. So the Coke oven has a tank built in. This liquid loader has a tank built in. This liquid unloader has a tank built in. And all of these are tanks. And apparently they don't like when you place wires next to them. So that's how it all works. This guy's going to stay there because he is still full. And we need more tanks. Um, one thing I will try really quick. Um, this kind of be a long episode. We're going to make one more tank. Just to see if it works when you place it to the side. That's what I'm guessing. Grab some more stone. Um, that should be enough. And we need the, uh, we got an unfinished tank already. And we'll just do uh, this number right here. Boom. Let's get another generic tank. Bolt over here. My epic parkour, hardcore parkour skills. Place this baby beside. And it loads up too. So you can place them on top, beside. Uh, whoa, that's cool. So they apparently bend as well. Um, these guys are really cool actually. So I'd like to see um, what we'll probably end up doing is make a lot of these. And uh, next episode, you can see what they look like. We'll have them all different directions, and it'll be pretty neat. So if you like the video, please like and subscribe to the Ticket Project and watch all of our Let's Play votes. Let's Play Vaults. This video hasn't been that interesting. On it. Well, it's been very interesting. We've gotten a lot of cool things going, and make sure you stay tuned for some more fun-packed, fun-filled episodes. Um, if you think you want to join the server, leave a comment in the video, and I might actually contemplate it because I need someone to uh, help in these worlds. Um, mostly, I, I, I need someone to go off and build so I can blow them up with missiles. So, yeah, guys, uh, if you want to get blown up by missiles, leave a comment in the video and like the video and subscribe to my channel. 
and I'll catch you later.